Hello everyone, and welcome to my young and restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Nikki Newman has a negative feeling about Faith Newman. Faith feels deeply guilty about the accident. Plus, Jack and Billy Abbott reunite. Nikki Newman foreshadows Victor Newman and Nikki are having dinner on Thursday, August 29, according to the Y&R recap. Nikki has not touched her plate. Nikki claims she's too concerned about Faith. Nikki wants to visit Faith, despite Nick's insistence that she wait until she returns home. Nikki can't believe there's another alcohol-related accident. Faith cannot stop thinking about the accident. Nick informs Faith she was attempting to assist Lucy Romilotti because she was ill. Sharon responds that Lucy wasn't sick, she was drinking. Faith massages her head with anguish. Faith acknowledges that her head still hurts. Faith claims she has a hard head and will be okay. Faith can't stop thinking about how the crash was her responsibility. Sharon, in a severe and outraged tone, insists that this is not Faith's fault. Devin Hamilton Winters is on the phone at Society, discussing a possibility. When Lily Winters approaches, Devin hangs off the phone. Devin adds, I love you before hanging up, so it's probably Abby Newman Abbott. Lily claims her attempt to oust Billy from Chancellor Industries failed. Why in our spoilers? Billy Abbott covers Billy is at the cafe. When Jack sees Billy, he asks whether he's okay. Billy claims he was working late to prove Jack is wrong about him. Jack wishes Billy great luck at Chancellor. Billy corrects Jack by saying, A-B-B-U-T-T Chancellor. Jack attempts to smooth things over by informing Billy that he has every right to use the family name. Billy replies, You're Dan right, I do. When Jack's jaw drops, Billy apologizes. When Chelsea Lawson and Connor Newman, Judah Mackey, enter, Jack turns around to see. Lily informs Devin that she was fired by Billy. Lily says that she has a contract, but with Jill Abbott's veto power, Billy can force her out and pay her off. Lily doubts that Jill is aware of what Billy has done. Lily does not want to worry Jill when she is still healing from a health problem. Devin is perplexed because he thought Lily held all the cards. Lily admits to overplaying her hand. Jack and Billy stand to greet Chelsea and Connor. Billy inquires if Connor is settling in at home. Connor mentions that he hasn't seen Billy since he returned. Billy claims he's been busy at work, but he'll make time. Connor discusses the book Billy gave him, which he even shared with a buddy at the center. Billy and Connor like chatting about Edgar Allan Poe, and their bond is wonderful to watch. Connor cracks a joke about Poe absolutely losing his mind. Jack explains that this is what guilty consciences do to people. It's not awkward at all, Jack. Billy and Chelsea trade arched brows. Faith Newman's history, the young and the restless recap for Thursday, August 29 shows Victor and Nikki discussing Faith's prior accident in which she nearly died. Nikki reveals she is grateful that Adam Newman, Mark Grossman, donated his kidney to save Faith. Then they discuss Cassie Newman's, Cameron Grimes' death and Sharon's health. Victor knows Nick will be there for Sharon and Faith. Nikki believes Sharon has gone through too much in such a short period of time. Faith expresses gratitude to her parents for providing her with the tools she needed to navigate through difficult times. Sharon and Nick try to persuade Faith to focus solely on the fact that everyone is fine. Sharon offers to make pancakes when they arrive home. Faith does not have an appetite. Nick recommends that Maria Copeland, Cameron Grimes, bring Faith her tablet. Nick informs Faith that her grandparents are ready to visit. Sharon responds that they can pay Faith a visit after she is home from the hospital. Faith wants to know how Lucy is doing. Sharon snaps, I don't have to worry about Lucy. Sharon quickly covers and claims Lucy's parents are most likely taking wonderful care of her. Daniel walks in and says the doctors want to do some tests on Lucy. Faith is alarmed. Chelsea excuses herself and Connor. They have a morning therapy appointment. Chelsea and Connor will meet in the automobile. 
Billy and Connor hug. Chelsea expresses gratitude to Jack and Billy for their support when Connor leaves. When Jack leaves, Chelsea praises Billy for covering. Billy adds he wouldn't do anything to add to Connor's worry. Nikki admires Faith's decision to quit drinking, but she is concerned about Lucy's poor choices. Nikki discusses how young people around the world are resorting to drugs and alcohol to solve their concerns. Nikki shudders when she recalls how she did driving. Too. Victor worries about Sharon's well-being. Nikki mentions Sharon rebranding Cameron's firm. Nikki foreshadows Sharon's good intentions could evolve into something awful. The Young and the Restless recap for Thursday, August 29, 2024, Cameron orders Sharon to take Daniel out of Faith's hospital room. Sharon informs Daniel that Faith requires rest and she hopes Lucy receives assistance. Daniel expresses his regret that Lucy put Faith in such a difficult situation. Faith and Daniel are both sad that this happened. Sharon instructs Faith to stop apologizing. Sharon freaks out and shouts to Faith about how Lucy is not a friend. Faith and Nick both attempt to calm Sharon down. Nick suggests they should move on. Cameron informs Sharon it won't happen. Nikki wants to know Victor's next move with Chancellor. Victor simply states that things are moving along. Victor urges Nikki to investigate the incident between Lily and Billy. Nikki says she keeps telling herself it's all for Catherine Chancellor, Jean Cooper. It had been 11 years since Catherine died. Nikki believes Catherine would be heartbroken about the commotion at Chancellor. Nikki also doubts that this takeover will happen as swiftly as Victor believes. Billy is not in the right place to make a decision about forgiveness right now. Chelsea is willing to do anything to restore their love. Chelsea adores Billy, but he is currently unable to reciprocate. Then Billy admits he loves Chelsea, but he's not sure what that means anymore. Chelsea still has hope. Lily regretted pushing Billy. Lily tells Devin about Billy's responsibilities. At the very least, she is knowledgeable about it. Devin informs Lily that she is not a quitter. Devin offers Lily a job, but she declines. Lily claims Devin is no better at sharing power than Billy. Devin informs Lily that she cannot destroy and reform Billy at the same time. Lily has to choose one or the other. Nick thinks it was sweet of Daniel to stop by. Cameron complains about Nick to Sharon. Cameron describes Lucy as a leech of a daughter. Nick and Sharon exit their hospital room. Cameron talks over Nick as he tries to help Sharon digest things. Cameron says, I need you to focus. Every second brings us closer to the answers you're seeking for. Sharon screams at Cameron. Nick believes Sharon was yelling at him. Sharon swiftly covers. As Nick continues to speak, Cameron mocks Sharon, wishing for her ex's wet sloppy kisses and weak knees. Even Sharon seemed perplexed by some of her hallucinations comments. Billy informs Jack of Chelsea's betrayal. After some back and forth, Billy informs Jack that Chelsea had slept with Adam. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.